Police are investigating an attack by masked vandals. Police have smashed a graffiti gang responsible for spray painting trains. Brazen vandals caught in the act of tagging public walls won't apologise, saying they're not hurting anyone. Tell them I'm setting me eyes, living on the edge to the end of our lives. Oh. From the sheep skin telling me lies, sometimes I love when my enemy. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. I don't condone this stuff, gentlemen. Do not do it because it's just going to end up with you getting in trouble. Good day, gentlemen. First of all, I'd just like to recently point out the op activities from my filmer slash brother, Jack. Bro, this is actually what this guy did. I don't even care if you don't want this on camera. We're at the drive-thru, right? And I got one of these drinks and then I got a soft serve. And it was $3.10. And he had $3 cash in his pocket. I was holding 10 cents. So we stop at the window. We were about to pay to the lady, right? I'm like, hey, can we pay cash? And she's like, yeah, no worries. So she pulled that big card reader thing away and goes oh like where's the cash i'm like yo can i have the three dollars and then this dude gives me two dollars and then just doesn't let me have the extra dollar so i'm like oh sorry he's not giving me the extra dollar can i please pay card and then i go and pay card and then it declines <laughs> That's actually kind of more humiliating than funny, but that's not the point. Today, gentlemen, we are linking up with a graph crew. Now, graph crew is short for graffiti crew, and it's basically like a group of graffiti artists who run around cities and random areas and just spray paint their art anywhere they can. They usually have about two to 12 members in them, and you can recognize graph crews by their tags that they'll pretty much spray wherever they can. So yeah, we're not meeting up with them till like six o'clock tonight, so I'm about to go home, take a shower, get changed, and yeah, let's go see these gentlemen. Gentlemen. So, as you know, we linked up with the uh, G-R-A-F-C-R-E-W. I'll spell that shit out um, down there. And yeah, so we got Snoop Dogg and Michael Sarah. First question, right? How does it work? You get into graffiti, what are like the basics? You got tags, you got throwies, you got pieces. Bro, I do not understand any of that shit. <laughs> That's like... So what they told me is that there's three different levels of art in the graph scene. So the first one is called a tag, and a tag is the one you pretty much see everywhere. It's just the name of the graffiti artist, and they're usually written on bins, poles, trains, just random places. And the point in them is just to show other graffiti artists that you're active and that you've been in that specific location. So that's like the one that just people just write up. Then you've got throwies. They're pretty much tags just with way more effort in them. They're usually pretty colorful. They'll always be in like bubble style letters and they're referred to as a simple piece. It's in between like a full piece and a tag. And then you have what's called a piece. A piece is pretty much just an insane piece of art that takes ages to do and is super creative. And in the community, they're ranked at like the top of the graph hierarchy. And that's the order. Piece can go over a throwy, throwy can go over a tag. And if you do it in different orders, you'll get bashed or some shit. So pretty much what Mr. Sarah means by that is that the graph hierarchy is pretty much based on respect for other artists' work. So if you do a piece which is like considered better in the hierarchy over someone else's tag or throwy, that's considered okay. But if you mix up the hierarchy and for instance, let's say you do your tag over someone else's throwy or piece, and if they come back to that piece and like recognize your tag or anything like that, then there is a high chance that you have ordered yourself a knuckle sandwich with a side of sore face fries. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like those tags. I really hate the tags. I much prefer like the actual art pieces. Take them as they come, I guess. Just out of curiosity, are you gentlemen always drinking when you're tagging? When we're in more red hot spots, you definitely have a drink because it'll make your confidence so much higher. Oh, so it's like talking to girls. Yeah, Pretty much. Get like 10 shots of whiskey in me and I'll be drawing pictures of my cock like on the side of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. You want a beer? Nah, I'm, I gotta drive, bro. Are there any like rules in the graffiti community? Like you can tag buildings and drains and shit, but is it like if you go and just tag someone's house? There's, I guess there's limits. You can't tag someone's house. If you're hitting someone's private property and there's nothing there, yeah. it's kind of a dick move. Yeah, like, that's just like dog, but it's like considered art almost if you just do like drains and buildings and yeah, trains yeah. and shit. Exactly, that's exactly it. One of the main tools that these graffiti guys use is a little pen called Stealth Ink. And we found some on the side of a pole and these dudes pretty much just told me how it worked. When the sun comes up, the sun's gonna shine on it. Tomorrow it's gonna turn brown. The day after, tomorrow it's gonna go black and it's gonna stay like that forever till they buff it. It's water, alcohol, photosynthetic liquid. The more UV light that gets on it, the brighter the tag will show. It's almost like a chemical reaction with the paint or whatever you put it on and it stays until they paint over it or whatever. Why are you actually smart? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's actually Smart. Man. I'm not gonna lie, I fucking researched way too much into all this shit. Like, once I learn about something, I just wanna know what's going Bro, on. Bro, these guys are talking about like UV lights and chemicals and shit. <laughs> Bro, this is like 
Hey, usually I'm just like a documentary guy. I'm not signed up for... You're gonna have to accept our lifestyle if you're gonna come for a walk with us. There are, there aren't many times in, in videos that I get sketched out and uncomfortable, but uh, you guys made me achieve being sketched out and uncomfortable, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad to that. Hell yeah, con congratulations, bro. There's, there's, there's no... Oh, f***ing hell. I'm more of a fan of like the actual art pieces as opposed to the tags. So am I, I'm not gonna lie, but this, this is a form of getting up and getting up is a part of graph. So getting up is just like... Getting up is getting your word up. So as dumb as that is, getting up is pretty much just handing out your business card as a graffiti artist. Because if your tags are like, constantly recognized in the graffiti community, like, oh shit, like that's his tag. Oh what, he's here as well? Then if you do like a massive piece and have your tag there, they'll be like, oh shit, that was done by that guy. It's pretty much just to get your name known by like the whole community. These guys are just don't go. I'm sorry. I literally feel like a criminal right now, bro. In these videos, I try to not, you know, legitimately document f crimes and shit because that actually feel bad. But this one is like still going. Oh my god. When I go past like a spot where it's like maybe there's someone's back fence, but it faces onto the train line, like mm. what harm does it do to that person to have a nice piece of art on the back of their fence that everybody can see on the morning on their way to work? I actually appreciate it. Thank you for showing me around. Oh, thank you enough for coming out. Huh? Like, I've been so keen all week yeah. since we started talking. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He but told me about it as soon as like he got a message back from you, and yeah. I was so keen as well. Hell I'm yeah, so bro. glad you came out. No, no, of course, bro. I'm like I'm always like just interested to hear what people do with their lives and just you yeah, know show yeah. some stuff, you know. <laughs> Fuck dudes and go broke. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I fucking say. Fuck dudes to go fight. Hello everybody, how is everybody today on this uh, exquisite day? As you guys know, or some people who watch the videos know, sometimes I just like to turn a camera on and, you know, talk a bit of shit. I just wanted to say thank you, like, actually, honestly, I for real appreciate everybody who watches this shit so much. I'm not sure if everybody knows this, but I've been at this shit for five years, ladies and gentlemen. Not gonna lie, like, it's been long as fuck, and I feel like the whole time I've had, like, this pickaxe, and I've just been, like, picking through these mines, like, just trying to get to where I want to go, you know what I mean? I, I didn't think I was gonna get there. This is all I wanted to do. I don't really have any other, like, plans in life. Like, I was like, fuck, if this video shit doesn't work, and then when videos don't do well, and then, you know, your YouTube videos aren't, like, doing crazy, it's like, fuck, like, how is this gonna work? Like, I'm 20 years old. I live with my parents, I work at a factory, I stack boxes, and I just try make ends meet to make these YouTube videos. And I've been at it for five years, you know? So not everything happens, like, overnight. But, bruh, like, now, I can just see. It's like, shit's starting to go up. And I promise you, I just wanted to come on and say this, bruh, I would not let you gentlemen down. And ladies, I would not let you guys down. This is who I am. I'm nothing special. I'm, I'm nothing crazy. I'm just some random dude from the northeast of Melbourne who likes making videos. You know what I mean? Like, that's it. I'm literally the most normal dude in existence. I went to a normal high school. I'm 20 years old and I work at a factory. That is me, you know? So I, I, I actually appreciate you guys so much because I was trying to make this shit happen for so long. Even last year, I was trying to stream, you know? I was trying to get that moving. Bro, I was streaming for like 6 to 11 people for like 8 hours at a time. But all that shit had to happen to get here. So gentlemen, keep fucking moving. This shit's gonna happen. I promise you. I appreciate all 12,000 of you. And yeah, we're gonna get that 100k like soon. I swear to God, like that shit's coming. So yeah, I appreciate you guys. I just wanted to come on and say that. And uh, yeah, see you gentlemen next week. And ladies, and ladies. They say they call me toasting on me, don't I know it? I ain't pulling drawing, I'm just waiting on that Kodak Woo! moment Cause I know it's coming for me I'm like John Jones, I sound like Sean Combs And I got trombone-sized stones like John Holmes <laughs>